Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, Joker of Skyarchy here, and today I'm going to uh, teach you how to do the um, shattering effect. Um, I'm not going to do the one that I showed on my one of my recent videos. Um, I'll, in order to do that one, uh, you can just go to grayscalegorilla.com and learn how to do that. Um, which I, I like, I love, I use Grayscale Gorilla all the time, so, uh, don't get me wrong when I say this, but I, I like the way I'm going to teach you better, and, uh, um, I'll put a link to the description if you want to learn how to do this, you, it's a free plugin for this one, so that's always good, the one I'm going to teach you how to do, um, is, uh, seven euros, I think, um, fifteen dollars in uh, America. But uh, yeah, I'll, uh, let's get to it here. Okay, so first off, we're going to just do basic sphere hitting box. The end of that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to um, put in a floor if you want. If you want a floor. Um, and uh, put the cube wherever you want and then put whatever object you're going to use to be hitting the other object about like you know halfway into it uh, and I'll show you why in a second so well, we're going to go into our plugins and we're going to use the explode plugin which I love um, and we're going to go to uh, number of parts and we're going to put it at about 200 you know just so it's not that many you can put hundreds and hundreds of uh, parts in here and depending on how good your RAM is it, it'll be totally fine so we're gonna make sure that this null object is selected and we're gonna click add and what you what you can see is there's you know a bunch of red dots what those are are just points um, to help you know kind of reference when we make the cuts into the cube so then we're going to select the cube and we're going to click on the um, scatter. It's, uh, it's uh, a pre mograft I guess, button. And we're, it's going to give us all the uh, physics that we need without having to put this cube into a uh, MoGraph so, uh, fracture object. So we're going to click that and we're going to click scatter and what happened there we can clear out the we can select the sphere and uh, clear now because it it's done with that and what happened uh, was it took our cube and it it cut it up into piece uh, about 200 pieces and if we make the sphere invisible we can see that there are more little chunks where it was and you know that's that's just awesome so then we're going to go into more details with the ball hitting the cube. Alright, so here I have it all set up already. Um, all I did was, you know, to give the um, sphere some gravity, I put it in a cloner object and I positioned it where I want it. And then I went down to um, the object and brought it down to 1. You can see if I bring it up there's clones I just want one and then we go to um, our pieces and we right click and we go to MoGraph rigid body tag and we put a rigid body tag on the pieces and the uh, this the cloner object and if you w if you have a floor then I suggest put in a floor otherwise the ob objects will just fall through but um you you have this all cut up now, and what we have to do is we have to go into MoGraph. Uh, we have to go into MoGraph with your body tag, and we go to Dynamics, and it, the uh, the Dynamics will be triggered on collision. That means when it gets hit by another object, that's when it will uh, fracture. Then we're going to go to our um, cloner objects, uh, rigid body tag. We're going to go to uh, dynamics and uh, we're going to click on custom initial velocity. And what that does is it just it gives us, you know, the throw. 
of uh, you can see it's throwing it and uh, if we if we had that at zero then you can see that it just drops down so I put mine at about 500 in this direction if you're if you're um, cube isn't set up in this position then you can just mess around with one of these you know throw it in a different direction uh, and then you should be fine you know however far it is away you're good um, then we're going to uh, just press play and I'll show you you can see there made a really nice shattering effect when it hit broke it up into little pieces where it would hit it and bigger pieces where it didn't hit it as much and that's that's really what I like about this plugin that it's it's more detailed like that um if you want you know more of a realistic looking explosion not that that wasn't but you can just go to the the pieces rigid body tag and you can bring up the friction to you know about one and that's pretty realistic right there it breaks more as if they were actually like being t uh, held together um, that's pretty much about it you know I mean you can you don't have to have it explode only when it gets hit. I mean, you could have something like okay. You can have it where it uh, it falls immediately, and you know you can see that it's still the sphere still does affect it. It's just it's not what made it break up. You can see it's already starting to f it's gonna break up already, but the sphere you know broke it up as it was falling. So you can just you know mess around with that stuff and uh, you should be good. All right, guys, uh, this is Joker and.